is you are stepping into the river of change. You are crossing the river from the old self, the automatic program, which is just running and running and running to something new. And that is the most mystical place to be because of course, when we step into the unknown, we step out of the pattern. Now we can actually meet a new possibility. Um, The thing that's really fascinating, Joe Dispenza said this when I was with him for a week in November, he said, if you want to know why God feels so hidden, it's because he's inside of each and every one of us. And it's the last place we ever think to look. How powerful is that? It's the last place we think to look. What if, and this is what I am positing this week, what if the most powerful force in the universe is just an open heart? What if you have the capacity to heal another person? to love another person into life? What if it's not about your credentials? It's not about how perfect your hair is done. It's not about how many degrees you have. It's how much can you drop in to just your open heart? One of my friends, I keep talking about her because I'm so freaking proud of her, Jamie Kern Lima, I I posted on Instagram, I told you the other day, she's the one who said to me, God does not call the qualified. He qualifies the called. He qualifies the called. And she is incredible. Um, She recently sold her company, It Cosmetics. You guys know It Cosmetics? Type of one if if you know her brand. Some of you probably do. She sold her company for $1.2 billion, billion with a B. She was a waitress at Denny's. She had tried to get a lot of different jobs. She was adopted. She was struggling. She didn't have resources. She could barely scrape quarters together to pay any electric bill that she had. She started making her own concealer because she has um, rosacea and she started to get compliments on it from friends and she started to make it in her house and put it in bottles. And you guys, the story is so epic because every step she took, everybody said, no, no, like no to your product no to your face, no to your look, no to, no, 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 we're not giving you money. No, we're not putting it on the shelf. No. She had one last chance, which was to meet with Sephora. And she took all the money she had maxed out on her credit card. It was done. She went to San Francisco to meet with the guy, goes up in the elevator, praying, 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 has the meeting. The guy's like, no, that would never sell. It will never work. I don't care that you make this in bottles in your house. And she cried the whole way down in the elevator. A year later, she was ready to give up on the whole thing. She was broke. And a friend of her said, why don't you try to get on QVC? And she's like, um, you know what? That's a great idea. Let me, let me try that. And so she reached out and they were like, no, 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 no. And she just felt, and, and this is what I want to, to sort of bring your awareness to. Do you ever feel that calling, even though it's like a small voice that tells you maybe these people are wrong or maybe there's greatness inside of me. It might be a quiet voice, but it's like the most familiar, unfamiliar place inside of you. And Jamie said like, it wouldn't let her, it wouldn't let her go. And she kept going back to QVC, QVC, like, I think you're making a mistake. I need to do this. Finally, they say like, okay, you have one shot, but do you know how it works? And she's like, no. And they said, okay, well, we don't have advertising on QVC. We, we sell product. So we're going to give you like a minute. And by the two minute mark, if you haven't sold X amount of units, we go to the next person. She's like, what? They're like, yeah, every minute we have to sell a certain amount of items. That's how QVC runs. And she's like, 
okay, no pressure. So then she had to get another credit card with crazy interest that she didn't even have the money for just to make enough product that she probably wasn't going to be able to even sell because at that moment she, she was selling like two tubes a day and she goes on QVC and she's like, so if I want the full 10 minute slot, which is what she had, they said, yeah, if you want the full 10 minutes, like if you want to see your face on here for 10 minutes, by the end of 10 minutes, you will have had to sell 6,000 units of the concealer. And she's like, okay, but it was that or nothing. So she prepares for the day. She gets the 6,000 units made, which costs her more money than she ever knows how she'll pay back. And everyone's like, you're insane. This is ridiculous. You're, you just now are in debt to make all these tubes. You're never going to sell. Then she gets to the studio and they say, where's the model? And she starts crying and she's like, I was just going to put it on my face in front of the camera. And the, the guy says, that's the worst idea I've ever heard. You need like gorgeous models. Like that's what we do here. Like, why would you think you didn't understand that? What, what's wrong with you? Da, 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 da. And she starts bawling. She goes in the dressing room. She's like, I'm having a panic attack. I'm such an idiot. I don't know why I didn't think that. And, and then she's like, who can I call? Who's close by? I have like an hour before I go on. She's freaking out. And then she heard that small voice inside of her that said, no, the person on the other side of the TV that you can actually help she looks like you. She's a normal girl. She doesn't want to see a model. Be yourself. Just be yourself. If you have one shot in this life, open your heart and be yourself. And so she goes out and she's like shaking and she prayed to God. She said, just be with me, please. You're all I have. Please, please just be, just show up for me. Just please show up for me. And she goes out there and she opens her heart and she's like, hi, I'm Jamie. I've had this bad skin my whole life. I made this and I want you to see what my skin really looks like. Do you see it? Do you see how red it is, how pink it is? Watch. And she puts it on her face. She starts to talk to the camera. Next thing she knows, she's like, whoa, I, I, I don't know what, how much time went by. She's like, I'm pretty sure more than a minute's gone by, but it went so fast. A, a, a bar comes across the screen and says, sold out at the six minute mark and they cut and she turns and she goes, what happened? And he said, we're sold out. So we cut, you sold six. She said, I sold 6,000 units in six minutes. I can't believe that. He goes, yeah, you did. He goes, I've never seen that before. She went on to be the biggest selling brand in QVC history, this girl. No degree, Denny's waitress, adopted, always feeling like she didn't fit in, like she didn't belong. She opened her heart. She opened her heart. She just sold the brand for $1.2 billion. It's the largest sale of a makeup brand ever in the history of that industry. How are you feeling about that? Maybe, I'm just going to look down at your comments, maybe, just maybe, an open heart is everything. Maybe we're ushering in a new dawn. Can you feel that today? You feeling that in the air? Maybe the most powerful force in the universe is just that. And maybe it's time for the humans with the biggest hearts to have the biggest, loudest voices. Maybe it's time for the people who have the biggest hearts to get it, to get that that's the most valuable thing that this planet needs right now. We live in an empathy deficit. We don't feel seen. Maybe it's being seen. Maybe letting yourself be seen. Maybe it's about taking that 50,000 pound weight called shame and putting it on the side and saying, I'm going to welcome myself here. And I know that that's all that's really needed. And I'm going to trust, right? Another Dr. King quote, what does he say? Like, don't worry about the whole staircase. Just take that first step. You just maybe, maybe people just don't know, right? I, I think about Nelson Mandela, right? The story is insane, you guys. Like, honestly, it's insane. Like here he was in prison. He is imprisoned and he's walking and he's pacing and he's saying to himself, I'm never going to get out of here. I'm never going to get out of here. I'm never going to get out of here. 
every day, all day. How awful is that thought? He decides to interrupt the automatic program. And one day he has a new thought. What if I could get out of here? Game changer. What if I could get out of here? So then all day he starts thinking that thought, well, what if I could get out of here? The next day he thinks, well, if I could get out of here, who's going to lead this nation? How would I get out of here? What would I do to get out of here? He has a thought. I'll write letters to the U.S. government. He starts to write letters every day, all day, every day, all day, every day, all day, every day. He gets an answer. We're coming to get you. We're getting you out of there. And he says to the guard, is it true? He said, yeah, they're getting you out of here. And then he has the new thought. Well, if I get out of here, it's still going to be so bad out there. Who's going to be the leader? Who's going to be the leader? Who's going to come and do it? Every day until they came, who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? Finally, break in the automatic program. New thought. What if I led this nation? He has this new thought. What if I led this nation? And he thinks, that's crazy. I can't be that. Why not? Who says you can't? And so he did. <laughs>